Veganism can be great, but sometimes too much of a good thing can be, you know, very bad. Welcome to the show. As you can already tell, some people exaggerate or what we call stretch the truth. Most vegans will tell you every good thing about the veganism lifestyle, the positivity. What about the bad? I'm not most vegans. Most of us are ignorant like myself, hence the book collection. I read a lot because I'm ignorant, all right? What is veganism and what is the difference between veganism and vegetarianism? Let's find out. These two diets are pretty the same, but at the same time different. Vegetarianism in itself is of course plant-based as well, but they only allow eggs, dairy, you know, cheeses, yogurt, ice cream into their diet. That is way more different than the veganism side. The veganisms are restrict plant-based only. No animals, no eggs, no honey, butter, whatever. Anything that involves animals, it's not allowed. This is where the negative side comes along. The definitions of veganism is eating no animal products at all no matter what here's the catch like myself Daddy. i personally don't like the keto diet even though i've been on the keto diet myself you know what i mean i used to be the keto man myself then i decided to join the right side the v inside this is honestly the best choice i ever made in my life i don't regret it at all because plant-based are you sure about that just like the regular western diet <laughs> we have here in the us of a most average diets belittled the keto diet. At first, they made it seem so deadly of the amount of fat and protein consumed. And of course, the masses are praising the capability of losing weight. Absolutely not. So then we have uh, nuts and seeds uh, and oil. So we have uh, macadamia nuts, one of my favorites, pecans. Think about it. The regular Western diet criticizes the keto diet. How do you think us vegans feel about vegetarians? Us vegans tend to criticize vegetarians very badly in a harsh, demeaning manner. We ask ourselves, why can't they just transition to a regular vegan diet, right? Just get rid of egg, milk, and butter. How hard is that? It's not hard at all. This is where the negative side of veganism starts. We push our agenda on someone else, especially vegetarians, instead of praising them. Unlike the Western diet or the keto diet, you know, we, on the contrary, criticize them more heavily. For example, a case study. You go to the gym, you have a lifting buddy, He's been lifting with you for three years, but the thing is, you're lifting 80 pounds and he's lifting 30 pounds. Then another friend comes along. He barely started this month. He's lifting 40 pounds, but the person that you've been with at the gym for a couple of years is lifting less than the guy that's barely started. Who are we going to criticize more? Obviously, the person that's going to be lifting with you for a couple of years than the person we, we just barely started. One plus one equals two. That's how veganism is. Should we really criticize these vegetarians or aka fake vegans harshly? To be honest, in my opinion, I don't really care. Like really, I don't really care how, how another person eats. In my point of view, of course there's gonna be some bias. They are considered fake vegans. But at the same time, I do respect them because they're trying to avoid animal consumption and, and brought it down to an 80-20, 80% vegetables and 20% meat products. That's very impressive. Should we really make this a big deal? Comment down below. I would actually like to know your answer more. Your answer is like more logical than mine. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. To all you vegetarians, this isn't a diss. Hey, the less meat you consume, the better, right? Say it goes to anyone that's trying to you know, eat less meat. We don't need that, man. We don't need more meat consumption. We don't want to damage the environment even more. If you're trying to improve your health and doing it slowly, you know, progress not perfection, man, go for it, man. I'm all for it, you know? Man, I get it, I get it. Baby steps, baby steps. It's like walking into the middle of a church, right? You want everyone to be peaceful, you know? Peace. Peace to the world, all right? But later on, you start wrecking havoc because someone got your order wrong at McDonald's. Cold fries. It's either all in or none at all. I feel as though that's how most vegans tend to look at vegetarians. You know, it's either you're all in or none at all. Don't consider yourself vegetarian or associate yourself with veganism. Instead, calling it less meat eaters or something like that. I feel like that's the bias they tend to have. And I, me personally, I don't care, man. You do you, I'll support it. It's like, why work out for 10 minutes, then 50? Or why eat 50% of the time? Good. I guess I see where they're coming from. Eh. But then again, I'm just a tree hugger that loves animals. Boxes and a person that believes they should be their own person whenever they want, including veganism. Hey, can I get ketchup with no tomatoes? Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. This is honestly like the negative side of veganism. Really like the people criticizing you so much, especially the radical vegans like myself, but really I'm not radical at all. The other negative side of veganism is really, you know, health deficient or nutrient deficiency. Whoa, let's not get carried away here, right? Don't get me wrong. You can get nutrient deficient even on just eating meat when you're eating normal plant and meat diet. If you eat too much meat, you can also lose the vitamins and minerals. If you eat plants, you also lose B12s and all the other protein from meat. It goes both ways. We tend to get blamed of not having a lot of B12. But even then on your regular diet, you don't, it's hard to get B12 because it's mostly all gone. It's, you know, it's just best to take like a supplement really. Vegan, non-vegan, vegetarian, keto, especially keto. You need to take a supplement. <laughs> oh God. But I highly doubt vitamins from the vegan diets. But at the same time, I just take it anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram down below. Check out the other videos. Check out the, the vegan haters eating vegan chips. 
vegan vegan snacks. Memento Mori, peace, boy.